myth. I can party with people as long as they don't have symptoms. That myth is false. As we've seen, up to 40% of people who have COVID-19 are asymptomatic and can pass it on to others. So I'd recommend avoiding any social parties, especially indoor ones. If you want to try to socialize but reduce your risk, I'd recommend meeting outside in small groups, continuing to wear a mask, and socially distancing from others if you can. Then together, we can keep COVID-19 out of school. For ways to keep your community safe, go to backtoschooltogether.com. Today, I'm going to talk to you about physics. Come on in, girls. Let's go. This is the first rocket to get humans to Mars. Really tall. I'm a rocket structural engineer designing and building parts of the rocket. You are the generation that will be stepping foot on Mars. Do I have a group of astronauts on my hands? Yes. You can become a rocket scientist or whatever else you want to be. Okay, welcome back again to Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. Thank you, Maslin Tiger Swing Band. You are awesome as always. Our cheerleaders are majorettes. Up next will be our alma mater.
I'm going to turn it over to Savannah to recognize our sponsors. Everyone here at WHS would like to thank the following sponsors for their assignment financial support for us to bring it home, bring you tonight's game. Reliable Heating and Cooling, Cosmos Grill, Buell and Oliveri Insurance, Expert Auto Collision, Tower Industries, Discount Tire Outlet, Friend, Friends and Family Credit Union, Maslin YMCA, Start State College, Downtown Maslin Association, Maslin Tiger Football, 15 for 15 book, Home Appliance, Impressive Chrysler Deep Dodge Ram, Stark County Mental Health and Addiction Recovery, Sergeant Cleans Car Wash, Metcat Pharmacy, Buffalo Wild Wings and Maslin, WHS's Alumni Association, Your Pizza Shop, Maslin Quick Print, Mercy Health Centers, Progressive Chevrolet, Doring Vision Center, Erie Street Pub, Maslin Boys and Girls Club, and MCTV. Thank you, Savannah. Before our Tigers enter the field here, I left off with our offense. I want to talk a little bit about our defense. It has been absolutely dynamic. Coach McConnell, Coach Lino, and his staff. The one interesting thing about our staff, Craig McConnell, Spencer Lino, Dan Hackenbrack, Jason Jarvis, J.P. Simon, Dave Weber. Tiger fans, I think that sounds familiar to, to all you guys out there. Um, interestingly, they're all Tiger graduates. And our defense has been playing absolutely lights out. Two shutouts in the last two games. They've been so dynamic as our Tigers and the Bengals enter the field. Our defense has given up 24 points all season, eight points a game, only 16 first downs. Um, just, you can't ask for a better start defensively and they've got playmakers all over. I'll go through their starting lineup. Starting lineup on defense, number 36, defensive end, Mike Miller, 6'2", 235 pounds, senior. Nose tackle, number 61, Reese Turpin, 6'1", 315 pounds, junior. Defensive end, Michael Billman, 5'8", 205 pounds, senior. Outside linebacker, Obi, Caden Willard, 6'4", 235 pounds, senior. Mike linebacker, Nick Liebler, 5'11", 190 pounds, senior. Jamacious Portis, 5'11", 220 pounds, senior. Will linebacker, Xavier Andrews. 5'10", 190 pounds, senior. Sam, linebacker, Jaden Wise, 6'1", 200 pounds, senior. And I'll round that out after we pause for our national anthem. Tiger Swing Band. Rounding out our defensive starting lineup, number four, Austin Brawley, a 5'9", 165 pound junior, is that strong safety, free safeties, number three, Isaiah Clark, 5'10", 195 pounds, senior. Cornerbacks, we've got three or four of them there. Andrew Wilson, Lamp, 6'3", 170 pound, 70 pound senior, number 21, number nine, Jaden Ballard, 6'2", 185 pound, senior. Number 11, Martavian Johnson, 5'9", 170 pound, senior, and also the, uh, a lot of, the, you'll see at corner number eight, TJ Williams, 5'9", 155 pounds, senior. Our specialist, Alex Bauer, will take on the kicking duties. He's number 89, 5'10", 200 pounds, senior. Our kicking, our kickoff and punting duties, Magnus Haynes, 5'11", 180 pounds, senior. Long snapper, Caden Willard, 6'4", 235 pounds, senior. And number 30, Dominic, Dominic Salvino will handle the short snapping at, he's 5'11", 180 pounds, junior. Our defense has only given up in the first three games 
point eight yards per rush. So they're they're playing really well against the run. Um, we're going to start out on offense here. Last week we saw penalties. Uh, we're a big thorn in our side, so I know the coaches have really stressed that with the the, uh, the Tigers this week. So hopefully we see a cleaner game. Coming on for Cleveland Benedict team to kick off is number three. That's Ivan Sharan. He kicks it deep down to about the one yard line. Ball's taken by number 11, Martavian Johnson. He's got a big seam, and Martavian takes it for a nice return down to about the 35-yard line. Good job by number 11, Martavian Johnson. So the Tiger offense will come out here with good field position. And number 12, Zach Catrone with Raekwon Benson in the backfield. He's got two receivers to his right, Ballard set to his left. Catrone takes a snap, hands it off to Benson. Benson cuts it back to the inside. It gets about three or four yards, and we've got a flag early on. Not quite sure what that was. Just an inside zone there for Benson. Good push up front. It looks like that's gonna go against the Bengals. Personal foul, face mask, number 75, defense, first down. Apologize for that feedback, folks. Dion Womack, personal foul, face mask. It's good to see, uh, see the penalty flags on the other side this week. Tigers had 15 penalties last week. We want to erase that and forget about it. So again, qu quick moving offense here. Come out in a... A bunch set to Catrone's right. Catrone takes a step, rolls to his right, surveys the field, and that pass was intended for number 21, Andrew Wilson Lamp. Just underthrew him just a tad. Nice coverage on the play there by the Bengals. That's gonna set up at second down and 10. Good coverage there on the left-hand side by number four, Angelo Lott. In the corner, number 28. That's Malik Kansler. So Tigers come out. Three receivers to the right with the slot. Ballard set to the left. Handoff goes to Benson. Big crease on the inside. Just gets a shoestring tackle there by number 11. Nice tackle, Gary Morrell. Or he could, he could have been running a lot longer there. Good job on the inside. Interior by Jaden Woods, Dylan Gerritsen, John Kuth. So that's gonna bring up third and about four balls on the 40 yard line. 11 minutes to go here in the first quarter. Catrone surveys over to the coach. He's got Johnson and Lamp to his right and Ballard to his left. Puts Geyer in motion. Catrone takes a snap, handoff goes to Raekwon Vincent, big hole on the inside. Excellent job, number five, Raekwon Benson. Excellent job on the left-hand side of that offensive line. As we mentioned, that's John Kuth, big John Kuth. And that's number 72, Tejamir Nash, 6'2", 310-pound junior. Tigers come out to receiver set. Handoff goes to Will Trell. Oh, he fumbles the ball. That's number 25, Will Trell Hartson and Catrone just another drive killed on a, a penalty there, a cost of mistake. Not really sure if, it, if Will Trell just didn't get the ball. Um, the Bengals did a nice job, had good penetration, they recover. So what was a very promising opening drive turns into a turnover and the turnovers have definitely been a thorn in the Tigers' side. Um, They've had about eight or nine on the year. So the Bengals will come out, as I mentioned, with number 12, Ronnie Schultz, and number 11, Gary Morrell, in the backfield with him. Schultz takes the snap, hands off to Merrill. Big hit there by number two, Caden Woolard. 
And the rest of the Tigers swarm for a gain of about two off the right-hand side. It's just frustrating. You know, I know it's frustrating for that offensive staff. You know, it's not like they were doing anything that wasn't working. Had a nice little flow there, uh, running the football, and uh, unfortunately made a mistake there. But you got to put that behind him and, and play some defense here. So Schultz under center again, puts a man in motion. That toss goes to number 11, Merrill. Merrill with a nice gain to the left-hand side. Tackle there by number 21, Andrew Wilson-Lamp, and number 22. That's the outside linebacker, Jaden Wise. So he gets about a gain of three or four on that toss sweep. So we're looking at about third and three. Ball on the 29-yard line of the Bengals. Schultz with three receivers and a slot to his right and Merrill in the backfield. And a quick handoff goes to Merrill and it looks like he squeaks inside enough for the first down. Just a quick little dive play off the right hand side there for Gary Merrill. And he's a 5'9", 200 pound running back so he's got some size clearly some speed first and 10 for the Bengals 33 yard line we've got nine minutes to play here in the first quarter Schultz is now on the gun he's got a new man in the backfield that is Schultz looks to his right and that pass was intended for number 81 Terrell Greer and the new guy in the backfield is number 26, Dwayne Jackson, 5'9", 190 pounds, sophomore, as we mentioned. Nice play there by Schultz, just uh, Greer couldn't corral it, so second and 10. Schultz comes out, he's got two receivers and a slot to his right. Single receiver on his left with Jackson in the backfield. That's Holland in motion, handoff goes to Jackson, nice play there by the Will linebacker, Xavier Andrews, number 33 for the Tigers. Maybe a gain of a half a yard, so we're looking at about third and nine and a half to 10 yards for the Bengals. They come out in a trips, receiver to the Schultz's right. Schultz gets the play. Schultz looks to his left, goes deep, dared out, and overthrows. Good coverage there on the left-hand side by Andrew Wilson-Lamp. That pass was intended for his dynamic receiver, Christopher Gales. And I believe he's, uh, he's got a lot of Division I interest, a 6'1", 205-pound senior. Really good-looking player for Benedictine. So the Tiger defense comes out. Looking like they have been all year. Give up about 10 yards and, and then uh, force a punt. Back to return for the Tigers. Number 11, Martavian Johnson. Number 9, Jaden Ballard. Punt from the Bengals. Nice high punt. And it takes a, a, a hop for Benedictine. And Martavian Johnson does a nice job fielding that ball could have rolled another 10 yards good job Martavian saving some of that field position and the Tigers will start first and 10 on the 27 yard lines we have, we have eight minutes to go here in the first quarter so we saw Maslin moving the ball pretty consistently unfortunately on a first down play uh, we had a an untimely handoff that uh, ended up falling in the hands of Benedictine but great job by the defense getting our offense back on the field. Catrone in his shotgun set will hand it off to Venson again. Not much doing there, but you see the power of Raekwon Venson at least getting two yards off on the right-hand side. You're just running a, just a little wrap play there with the offensive guard wrapping him on the inside. And, um, you know, Raekwon, not a lot of room, but some positive yardage, so good run by, by Raekwon. Second and eight, ball on the 25. Catron with three receivers to his left. Again, that handoff goes to Venson. Venson surges ahead. And a group of Bengals there on the inside. 
stop him for a short gain of about three. So that's going to bring up second and five. And good job there by inside linebacker Daryl Bettingfield, as well as number two, Terrence Holland. So a third and four yards for Catrone. Catrone takes a snap. He's got pressure coming to his left side, and he's going to be sacked. And Catrone goes down pretty hard. It's a heck of a play there by their outside linebacker, or inside linebacker, number six, Darrell Bettingfield, and number two, Terrence Holland. So not a way you want to finish that drive. Uh, brought pressure off the left-hand side. Catrone really didn't have much of a chance. So back to punt is Magnus Haynes from his standing out about his six. Good snap by Willard. Punt is off. It's a long punt, deep. Taken down at the 35-yard line. And they had him, and they don't have him. And just three or four missed tackles there on number four. That's Angelo Lott. I don't know how he really got out of that. We got to do a better job of breaking down what should have been first and 10 on about the 25 to 30 yard line after a beautiful punt by Magnus Haynes. Uh, turns into a gain of about 25 yards on that kick return by Angelo Lott. Three or four Tigers had him but couldn't pull him in. So now the Bengals will start with great field position on the Tigers 45 yard line. 5.54 here to play in the first quarter. Schultz again under center. He will hand it off and a nice little surge there on the left hand side to number 11 that is Gary Merrill for a gain of about six yards. Tackle was Michael Miller there, number 36, defensive end. Schultz comes out in the gun with Merrill set behind. Schultz takes a snap, hands it off. Nope, he keeps it this time. Nice play there on the backside. And that is number 22, Jaden Wise, coming from the outside linebacker spot. No gain, maybe a, ha a loss of about half a yard. So we're looking at about third and five. Ball sitting on the 41 yard line, middle of the field. Schultz comes out with two receivers to his left in a slot. And that single receiver on his right hand side is Terrell Greer. Schultz checks at the line. Schultz looks to his left. Inside slant goes to Gales. Nice timing play there on the inside. Just running an out and a slant. Nice open window. Good. You see the arm strength there. By Schultz. And again, I mentioned Gales' name. Uh, he is a dynamic player on both sides of the ball. So that'll bring up a first and 10. Ball is now on the 26 yard line as the Bengals are threatening to enter the red zone. Schultz now with back Jackson in the backfield. A little counter play to the right. Nice play there by Jaden Wise. Cl closing in. Just tried a little counter, pulling their guard and tackle on a left, uh, from the left to the right side. And uh, again, Wise comes up from that outside linebacker position for a short gain of about one, one and a half yards. So Bengals looking at about second and nine. Ball on the 25 yard line. Schultz play action. He gets some pressure from Miller. And Miller makes the sack. Nice job by number 36, Michael Miller. 
Schultz looked to step up. He's a little, comes up a little gingerly there. And, uh, you know, it's just great pressure by Miller. He, you know, he came around that edge. Schultz steps up and, and he feels that pressure, did a good job, but uh, Miller kept kept the attack and, and ended up getting him from the backside for uh, about no gain. So that brings up third and nine for the Bengals. Ball on the 25 yard line. Schultz sets three receivers to his right and a single receiver to his left. A little play action. That pass goes to number 15 and what a big hit there by number three, Isaiah Clark. Number 15, Marvin Conkle felt that one. It's a good throw, and uh, good throw, not a good catch. I mean, it would have been a good catch, but uh, give credit to Clark on that hit. Outstanding job by him. So coming on to kick a 41-yard field goal attempt, Ivan Shuran, or Shuran, excuse me, for the Bengals. So clearly they have a lot of faith in their kicker. Good pressure there, and that kick is long enough, and it is good. So with two minutes and 27 seconds left, it is the Bengals three and the Tigers zero. Now a word from our sponsor, YMCA. The mess. Hi, my name is Jim Stanford. I'd like to welcome you to the YMCA of Western Star County, where we have been serving our community for almost 100 years. Everybody is welcome at the YMCA, regardless of their inability to pay. This is where you get strong, and we'll help you do that. Welcome to the Maslin YMCA Child Care, where we offer full day preschool, before and after school in the Maslin and Perry School District, as well as summer camp. You can do it all here at the YMCA. Thank you for Maslin YMCA. Wow, what a kick there by Ivan Shuren. And I apologize, Bengals fans, if I'm, I don't know if it's Shuran or Shuren. Um, I'll try to get some clarity on that, but you can see his leg. That would have been good from 55. Uh, plenty of leg there. And I'm gonna imagine that with him being a senior, he's probably getting some looks uh, to kick at the next level. So Shern on to kick. That kick is a little bit shorter this time. It will go down to Eric Thurman, number 13. And Thurman sees a crease, makes a cut to his right. And another great return by our kickoff return team. Eric Thurman, number 13, showing his explosiveness, takes it to the 35 yard line. So 220 to go here in the first quarter. Bengals up, 3-0. Tiger offense takes the field. So Catrone sets three receivers to his left. And he hands it off again to Vence. Another big hole, big cut by Raekwon. Working that left-hand side of the offensive line. Great, great seam. Gain, gain of about 13, 14 yards for Raekwon, and the Tigers hurry up. Vincent in the backfield, nice cut again on the inside, and he goes for about four or five yards on first down. So the offensive staff and Coach Troxler, Coach Major, clearly see something up front that they feel they could take advantage of. Uh, you know, they're, they're obviously counting the number of guys that are in the, in the box. They have a three-man three, three man front, the Bengals do. Um, so you see seven in the box here. So we'll see. Catrone takes a snap. This time he drops back to pass. He's got all day. And he does have a man coming across the middle. That is Jaden Ballard. And again, Jaden Ballard just just under throws him a little bit, or that's a score. Great job by nine coming back to that football. So big play there. Credit the offensive line there for great protection for Catrone. He had all day, nobody even close to him. So the Tigers are looking at first and 10 from the 12-yard line. 
They come out in a two fullback set, bringing in Billman and Guy Geyer, and they run it up the middle with Venson, and he probably loses a yard there. And you see the, I mentioned, you know, that they're stout up front. They, they only have three down linemen, but they, they do have some size there with number 77, Gavris, and, and uh, so we're looking at second and 12. Tigers stay in the same set. Catrone looks to his right. He looks for Andrew Wilson Lamp, and Lamp. He did not come down with that ball, but I see flags from both sides, so I think we're going to have a pass interference. I like the decision by Zach. He sees one-on-one. -on -one. He's got two Division I receivers. Pass interference. Defense number 29. So that pass interference will go against the Bengals. Still second down. It's not an automatic first down, which is unfortunate for the Tigers, but it does move it from second and 12 to second and five or six now on the seven yard line. So Tigers stay in that two fullback look with Geyer and Billman. They put Billman in motion. And the handoff goes to Venson. Venson, big hole up the middle. And he stretches out, touchdown, Raekwon Venson. Credit to the Maslin Tiger offensive line on that drive. And then, obviously, great job, number five. You see Raekwon's power. Once he gets through the first crease there, it's really hard to take him down at the second and third level. So with 33 seconds, and Alex Bauer coming on for the extra point, Zach Catrone on to hold, Dominic Salvino is the short snapper. Snap back, good. Hold down, good. Kick is up, is good. With 33 seconds, it's the Maslin Tigers seven, and the Cleveland Benedict team Bengals three. Now it's time for a word from our sponsor, Doring Vision Center. Doring Vision Center in downtown Maslin is a primary care optometry clinic. They use the latest technology and can treat most eye disease conditions. Doring Vision Center can fit all types of contact lenses. They welcome emergency eye visits and same day appointments may be available. Most insurances are accepted. Their optical showroom has a wide variety of frames. From budget packages to designer brands, they have it all. Doring Vision Center, located in downtown Maslin. I was born in Canton, Ohio at Timken Mercy Hospital. And I think about how fortunate I was to be a part of this community. So I'm proud to be on a progressive team that's been serving this community for over 80 years. Save thousands on new Silverado 1500 4x4 Cruze and new Chevy Equinox or get low lease payments. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Progressive Chevrolet in Massillon. Thank you to both Progressive Chevrolet and Doring Vision Center. Short kick. And he's got room to run. I mean, that, that kick was extremely short. And that's number four again, Angelo Lott, giving the Tigers a lot of problems on their coverage. But, you know, the kick was a low line drive, maybe to about the 13-yard line. Usually we see Magnus put a little bit more air on it. And uh, he caught that thing on a run. And credit to Lott and, and their kicking uh, game, uh, return game. That's their second big return. So the Bengals will come out with great field position. Outstanding job by our offense. You know, they've they've had some inconsistency over the last few weeks. Great response by them, you know, just coming down and, and, and really, really doing a good job of responding to uh, a score by the Bengals. So the Bengals come out with good field position. There's Schultz in the backfield. He puts Holland in motion. Handoff goes to number 11. That is Gary Merrill. And Merrill with a nice little run for about five yards. And that's just an old school down block kick out and, and uh, to try to find a crease power play for about five, years, five yards there for the Bengals. So Bengals come out with a good first down gain of five yards. And it looks like that's the end of the quarter. So folks, 
at the end of one, Tigers seven and the Bengals three. Now a word from our sponsors, WHS Alumni Association. T-I-G-E-R-S. T-I-G-E-R-S. W-H-S is the best. The Washington High School Alumni Association. Keeping Tigers connected. Please join us and send a contribution today. For nearly 40 years, Expert Auto Collision has been serving Stark County with premium customer service and collision repair. Bring your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition. Expert Auto Collision's professional crew has the experience and the drive to bring your damaged vehicle back to life. Don't let an accident get your goat. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision, the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Expert Auto Collision, where we meet good people by accident. Thank you, WHS Alumni Association and Expert Auto Collision. And thank you, Savannah. So, first quarter of play, we see it's going to be a, a competitive ball game here now. Bengals cross midfield. They've got second and five on the Tigers' 48-yard line. Schultz in the gun. This time he has Jackson in the backfield with him. He puts him. That is Merrill in motion. Schultz looks to pass, and he's got a man coming across the middle. That is number 15, and I mentioned his name before. And that's Marvin Conkle. He's another one of those dynamic receivers, him and Gales, number one and 15, that Schultz likes to, uh, are his favorite targets. So the Bengals answer and are threatening as the Tigers defense tries to get lined up. Merrill again in motion. This time the handoff goes to Jackson. Great penetration on the inside. Uh, and that time it was Michael Miller. Mike Miller's been all over the field today. Number 36 for the Tigers. So loss of three that time for Jackson. They're already in kicking range, I can tell you that, after we watched that first kick by Sharan. Schultz looks over to the sidelines. He sets Jackson to his right. Again, that's Merrill in motion. And it looks like we have a timeout for Benedictine. So with 10.58 to go here in the second quarter, it's Tigers 7, Bengals 3. Now words from our sponsors, Friends and Family Credit Union. Welcome to Friends and Family Credit Union, where we believe every member is a friend of the family. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. We provide financial needs in the most reasonable and cost-effective way. What are you waiting for? Stop in one of our locations today to become a friend of the family. Thank you, Friends and Family Credit Union. Okay, Bengals come out second and 13 from the 30-yard line. And we've got a penalty, and it looks like it's a false start. So that's going to push the Bengals back even further. Dead ball. False start. Offense. Five-yard penalty. Still second down. So second and 19 yet uh, now for the Bengals. Same personnel set for Schultz. He looks over to his sideline to get the play from his coaches. New man in the backfield, I believe, number 22, that is Andre Rogers. I 
Yep, 22, the little play action goes to number four. That is Angelo Lott. We've seen his return capability, so we know how athletic he is. But a good job there corralling him by Clark and uh, Wise coming up and making that tackle. So the Bengals are looking at third and looks to be about 16 or 17 yards on the 34 yard line. It'd be interesting to see if they, you know, if they if they don't get this first down where they're at, if they would attempt the field goal, I, I'm sure they would with the leg of uh, Sharam. So he's got trips to his right. He rolls to his right. Great pressure again right by Miller. And I mean, Miller has come to play today. Number 36, Mike Miller penetrates, makes the play, sack, loss of about four or five yards for Schultz, and that buries the Bengals back to about the Tigers' 37-yard line. So decision time here for Coach Jarrett Good, head coach Jarrett Good. It looks like he's bringing on his punt team, and that's number 33 coming on to punt Christian Cora. So working on a short field here. Snaps back, good snap. Punt is up, high punt. Short, takes a Bengals bounce inside to about the nine yard line, nope. 14 yard line, so the Tiger offense will come out starting on the 14 yard line. Great response there by the Tiger defense after a big return. Got to get that fixed. Because two times that has given the Bengals great field position. So credit to the offensive line on that last drive for the Tigers. Just really controlling the line of scrimmage. Coach Mazur, Coach Robinson, and his crew. So the Tigers are going to come out here. First and 10, ball in the 14, 9.23 here in the second quarter. Patron takes a snap, again, handoff. This time, good pressure on, on the outside from Bettingfield. Maybe two yards. I mean, that's what's, that just shows Raekwon's power. Um, he gets hit in the backfield, but he still manages to get a yard. So second and nine. He's got Woolard in the slot to his left with Ballard and Lamp. Catron takes a snap, looking to pass. He's got Lamp, and it's just, you know, he just had a tough time to get getting enough on that. That's a, that's a long throw um, intended for Lamp. Lamp was open. But uh, he short hops at about three, four yards short of, of Andrew. So the Tigers are looking at a, a third and nine. Bringing in a little bit more of a athletic personnel package with Thurman and Johnson checking in. Still Venson in the backfield with Catron. And I think we got a timeout again by the Bengals. So with 8.49 to play, it's Tigers seven, Bengals three. Now a word from the Vaseline Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you, Masson Boys and Girls Club and Tower Industries. We'll have Tower next, but thank you, Savannah. That's okay. Uh, Savannah, a lifelong resident of Maslin. She knows what Maslin Tiger football is all about. And the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. We thank them for everything they do. So third and nine. Two receivers left, two to the right. Catron takes a snap. He's got a guy coming across the middle. That is Thurman. And wow, they had they had the space. Great play there. 
He got hit hard coming across the middle. Good throw by Zach that time. Um, you know, that time it was the safety, and that was uh, that was number one, Gales. He was playing the safety position, and again, you see his uh, his physicality, his athleticism. We've we've mentioned his names quite a few times now. Chris Gales. So on the punt is Magnus Haynes. He had a really nice punt. Um, we've just got to get down there and tackle better this time. Snaps back, good snap. A little bit of pressure, but a short kick and a lot of space to the outside. And that that is taken down all the way down to the... Marked him out at the 26-yard line, so... Tiger special teams today is really struggling, especially in their coverages. Um, that was a difference of about seven or eight yards from where they kicked it, uh, where the, from where the line of scrimmage was. So that something that Coach Jarvis and his special teams need to get corrected. Uh, they got a little bit of pressure. I think it, it rushed Magnus a little bit, kicked the low line drive, but we had nobody out and contained. So Schultz comes out. He's got first and 10. Ball in the 25, 26 yard line. And it looks like he's got, that is number 11, Merrill in the backfield with him. He sets him to his left. Schultz, quick pass. That goes out to number 15. You see his quicks there. That's Marvin Conkle. Conkle makes a nice, couple nice cuts there. But a good tackle there by 34. And 34, sorry. I've got to get his number. Okay, so second and seven. And a quick swing again goes out to number 15. That's Conkle. And uh, the Bengals sort of attacking the quick screen game like we, we see our Tigers do a lot. Number 34, I do apologize, is Andrew Edwards. He's a six foot, 200 pound senior. Making the play on the previous play. So third down and about four for the Bengals. Two quick hitters there to Conkle. Trying to get the ball in their athlete's hands. Schultz, quick handoff goes to number 11. That's Merrill, and he does not get the first down. Maybe two yards, good job there on the inside. That's Wise, that's Portis. Miller again penetrating well. Mike Miller sort of got in the backfield and made, uh, made Merrill make a cut. So it's fourth and two here, and the Bengals are gonna go for it. Schultz under the center, trying to hard count him. Good job by the front front line of the Tiger defense. Schultz takes snap, quick toss, and he does not get a great play by number 22, Jaden Wise. Wow. You couldn't ask an outside linebacker to play that any better. Um, they try to crack block on him. He does a great job of getting downhill right now, setting the edge, as Coach Hack would say. Once again, just our defense putting it in a tough spot, special teams. And they respond with a four and out on a fourth and two stop there by Jaden Wise, number 22. So new life for our Tiger offense. They went three and out on the last series. So here comes Catron. It's going to be a quick toss out to Ballard. Ballard scoops it, gets, makes a cut to the outside. And it's just one too many cuts um, for Jaden Ballard. I mean, made that first cut, and then let's, let's, let's try to get our shoulder down and get, get upfield. But uh, we like that quick screen game. It's, it's usually just a one cut and go and, and take what uh, the defense can give you. I don't know what the penalty is. Might be a late block in the back on the Tigers. Block in the back. Offense, number 19, 10-yard penalty. 
Still second down. Second, it should be first down, I would imagine. Uh, said second down. So first and 20. Ball's now on the Tigers' nine yard line. Safety. That's number four. That's a lot. I mean, he is playing at 20 yards depth. That handoff goes to Venson. Venson, not much room, maybe two yards on the left-hand side. So second and 19 goes to second and about 17 after that run by Raekwon Venson. Six minutes and 10 seconds left here in the second quarter. Be nice to see, you know, the, the Tiger offense come out and, and get seven or eight yards here to make it a more manageable third down. Well, let's see what the, the coaches have in store. Time across the middle. That is complete to Andrew Wilson Lamp. And Lamp with a nice catch across the middle. Nice throw by Zach Catrone. So we'll take it. First and 10 Tigers. Pick up about 20 yards there. Takes that ball down to the 35 yard line. Great timing. Andrew, a little dinged up last week. You're seeing his toughness. He's a senior captain. So, Tigers' new life, 35 yard line. Catron puts Geyer in motion. And that handoff goes to Venson. Good push on the left hand side. And Venson just trips up. But a good gain there on the left hand side. And again, 75, Todrick Lee. 65, John Cooth. These guys pulling around there, Dylan Garrettson, just getting a great push up front. So second and four. Snap goes back, handoff goes to Venson. This time, number 11 does a really nice job. That's Gary Morrell. We've seen him in the backfield on offense. He plays inside linebacker. Mer Merrill, excuse me, uh, with a good fill there to stop Venson for maybe a gain of a half a yard. So that brings up third and three, third and four. Ball's on the 41 yard line. Four minutes and 39 seconds to go here in the second quarter. We got two receivers right, two left. Catrone. Catrone's gonna keep it. And he gets the first down. A nice job, good awareness. I don't know if that's a design play. It looked like it was uh, with number 25, Will Trell Hartson. And it looks like we have an injury timeout. So with four minutes and 20 seconds, Tigers seven, Bengals three. Now I've heard from our sponsors, Tower Industries. Order the new book, The Maslin Tigers, 15 for 15, by author and 2019 coach David Lee Morgan Jr. Go behind the scenes, in the locker room, and on the field in the new book that follows the 2019 Maslin Tigers season. Order at 15for15book.com. Use coupon code WHS-TV for free shipping. Thank you, Tower Industries and Maslin Tiger Football 15 for 15 book. And that was Thomas Jolly. He's a 6'1", 270 pound O lineman and D lineman. We hope he's okay. He was able to walk off the field on his own. So hopefully he will be back for the Bengals. So first and 10, that's Brawley in motion. Handoff this time goes to Will Trell Hartson and a great push by him. I mean, the, the Tiger coaches have really talked about him and I know we saw you know, a little bit of a Mishap, we don't know who that was on, but he's got a lot of potential. Number 25, Will Trell Hartson. Good push again up, up front. Good run by Will Trell, gain of five. Tigers moving quick. Three minutes, 40 seconds to go here in the second quarter. 
That's Billman in motion. Quick pass goes out to Ballard. And Ballard catches that ball for about a gain of three. Good play there by, that's 29 corner for Michael Hatcher for the Bengals. Good job there by him uh, making that game a short game. Clock stops, 3.33 to play. Plenty of time for our Tiger offense. Third and two, ball's on the 46. Patron looks over to the sideline, gets his play. Brings again Billman in motion. Snap. And Hartson, good push on the inside. No, he did not get there, though. And again, number 11 um, and number two makes the play there. That's Terrence Holland, but number 11 does a great job. And fourth and one on the 45. And we're going to punt it. So Coach Moore playing field position game. Tigers got all three timeouts. Defense has been playing lights out. I know a lot of the fans would like to see him go for it here, but you know we put our defense in some pretty tough spots here. It'd be nice to really pin them back. Um, punt is up by Haynes. And that's a running into the kicker. Nope, they didn't call it. And that ball rolls into the end zone, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if maybe uh, Magnus was <laughs> was acting a little bit there, but he definitely seemed there. Definitely seemed to be some contact, but not enough, according to that official. And unfortunately for the Tigers, that ball rolled into the end zone. So instead of maybe pinning them back on about the 10-yard line, uh, the Bengals are going to come out 2:43 to play here in the second quarter on the 20. Tigers do have all three timeouts. The Bengals have one. And the Tigers are going to get. They're going to get called for 12 men on the field there. Substitution infraction. Defense. Five yard penalty. First down. Yeah, so that's going to give uh, the Bengals first and five now. Schultz under center. Checks to something he's, that he likes. Looks like he's got one on one out here with Gales again. Schultz will hand it off to the speedy number 26, Jackson. You see, when he's got a crease, he does have some speed. So, uh, first down gain, nice gain of about 10 yards there for the Bengals. 2.35 remaining. Bengals now threatening. They're at the 35-yard line. Schultz. With the pass complete. That pass is complete to number 11, Gary Merrill. Well defended on the play by Jaden Wise. Off that play action boot. But a gain of three or four yards. Good good catch there by Merrill um, with Wise in coverage. Two minutes and counting here. Second quarter. Schultz takes the snap. Quick pass goes out. And that time it is dropped. That time it's dropped by number four. A lot. Bengals fans want to. A late hit. I think, you know, my response to that would be when, when, you, when they throw those bubble passes, sometimes you don't know if that's behind the line of scrimmage. So uh, the whistle was a late whistle. And we always tell them to play through the whistles. Third and six. Minute 57 seconds. Schultz looks to his right. Quick slant. And that is... Incomplete, oh my gosh, no. Great coverage there. Big hit by our safety on a slant pattern. We hope that young man's all right. But I did not see anything dirty about that. 
And it looks like that is Conkle that's down. And now our coaches, we just get, we can't do this to ourselves. We, you know, there's two, there's a minute and 53 seconds left. We're gonna take, we're gonna take a, a brief time out here, folks. It's the Tigers seven and the Bengals three. Now a word from Home Appliance. It's where we come together, where we are rested, nourished, and renewed. It's where convenience and performance surround the ones we love. It's home. Home Appliance and Whirlpool help homes happen with innovation you can depend on and quality you can trust. Right now, purchase select Whirlpool Kitchen and Whirlpool Laundry Appliances and save. And pay no interest when paid in full within 12 months. Home Appliance, where your home comes together. Thank you, Home Appliance. All right, so, you know, you, you can't, I think that was number four, Austin Brawley. Great job by him. Um, that's how, how, and I know Coach Hack's really upset and sort of how the game has changed. So we're looking at, instead of getting the ball back with a minute and 53, the Bengals cross midfield and they have trips to their left. And we, again, we hope number 15, Conkle, is okay. So Schultz. He's got three receivers to his left. Christopher Gales is set to his left on the trip side. And that quick pass goes out to number four. That is Angelo Lott. We've been calling his name a lot. The Tigers were, uh, they were in a, like a loose defense there. So clearly the, uh, the Bengals offensive staff saw something in the way they were lined up and good game. Good pitch and catch by Schultz to Lott. That's going to bring a second and three or four yards, gain of about six. And, and he loses the ball, and he falls on it. Good job by Schultz falling on it. Clock is still running at a minute and ten seconds here. A minute and ten seconds, clock is running. Uh, Bengals are looking at now with that mishandled snap, third and about nine. 55 seconds and counting. Bengals are taking their time. And again, Schultz has trips to his left. And Schultz takes it, looks to his right. Quick pass goes to number four. Again, that is Lott. And that's dropped. Good throw, good throw by uh, Schultz, good decision but Lott couldn't pull it in. Great job again by the Tiger defense. Tiger defense again, as I mentioned, um, looks like they're gonna go another two quarters. So that's 10 straight quarters without giving up a touchdown. And I hope I didn't jinx us. We got 33 seconds left. You got Martavian Johnson and Ballard back. That is Cora on to kick. It's a high punt. Short though, it takes a Benedictine bounce. And that ball's gonna go down to the three yard line, 22 seconds left. So I think we'll see the coach Moore and, and the Tigers. There's a penalty flag on the play here. To wait and see what what the call is by the officials. Illegal procedure. Not enough players on the line. Offense still fourth down. Well, 22 seconds now. Didn't have enough guys up on the line of scrimmage. Must have only had you know six players on the line of scrimmage. You need to have seven. So. That's going to make them punt again. And you've got two guys back there and Ballard and Johnson that are electric. Um, 
Let's see if they decide to come after this thing. Cora has been doing a nice job. Oh, almost blocked there. And that's, a, that's number 33, Xavier Andrews. So ball's now at the, about the 25 yard line. The Tigers do have all three timeouts. Unfortunately, there's only 15 seconds left. Uh, Alex Bauer has hit from 42 yards out this year. So let's see what decision is made here. And it looks like it's going to be he is under center, which is odd. And it looks like he's going to take a knee. So with no time now remaining, and that's the end of the first half. It's the Maslin Tigers 7 and the Benedictine Bengals 3. We'll be back with the swing band after this word from Mercy. Hey, Massillon and Western Stark County. Mercy Medical Center has you covered. In fact, you're doubly covered with health centers in both Massillon and Jackson, offering services like stat care, primary care, lab, imaging, heart, sleep, pain, various therapies, and even plastic and reconstructive surgery. With locations at 2935 Lincoln Way West and 7337 Caritas Circle Northwest, we've got you covered with double the health care options. Your first set of wheels didn't come with hassles. It can be that way again at Tire Pros. Earn up to a $100 Visa prepaid card when you purchase four new qualifying light truck and SUV general tires. Stop by your local Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros in Maslin today. Tire Pros, hassle-free, guaranteed. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you, Mercy Health Centers, Discount Tire Outlet, and Buell and Oliveri Insurance. And now on to our Maslin Tiger Swing Band, folks. Under the direction of Dave Camille, assisted by Jen Smith Eisler, Christian Bob, Dave Gates, Montana Hall, and Lauren Foster. Led onto the field by drug majors Brandon Johnson and Marion Joseph with Holy the Tiger Great Music. This is the 2020 Tiger Swing Band. With a massless tradition since 1938, fanfare, Tiger Red, and carry on.
to play the music. It's time to light the lights. It's time to get things started on the Muppet Show tonight. Thank you. 
hope you like that last number. If you did it, at least it was the last number. Awesome job, Mass and Tiger Swing Band, Mr. Neal. His staff always putting on a new performance each week. Time and preparation that it takes for all of our band members, majorettes, cheerleaders. Uh, just can't say enough. Just such a first class program. And now a word from Stark County Mental Health and Mental Health and Addiction Recovery. A Maslin staple for over 40 years, Maslin Quick Print is your one-stop shop for all your printing needs. Before you shop the internet, come downtown to see Maslin Quick Print first. Experience their top-notch customer service and offset printing capabilities. They also specialize in copy services, print media, brochures, invitations, and much more. Visit Maslin Quick Print on 1st Street Northeast in downtown Maslin. Of questions about the coronavirus? I'm here to share some simple steps you can take to help protect yourself and others. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Wash your hands often with soap and water for 20 plus seconds. Cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue. Clean and disinfect surfaces and objects. Wash hands after touching commonly used items. Together, we can help slow the spread. So I just moved in with his family and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. My name is Jaden Wilson, and you're watching Mass and Tiger Football only on WHS TV. The Eye of the Tiger. Thanks to Star County Mental Health and Addiction Recovery and Massling Quick Print. Thank you, sponsors. First half, very competitive. Um, 
7-3 Tigers, give you some first half statistics. Uh, Tigers have seven first downs, Benedictine five. Tigers with 130 yards of offense, Benedictine with 75. So not a lot of offense in this game. Both defenses playing particularly well. Uh, the return game has been um, the, the bright spot for the Bengals. They've got two punt returns for over 20 yards that have put them in great field position. And uh, their kicker, um, and I apologize, I'm looking, it's Ivan Sharan hit a 42-yard field goal with three minutes, 27 seconds in the first quarter. And Maslin answered that with a quick strike, uh, running the ball, Raekwon Vets' seven-yard touchdown and Alex Bauer kick to round out the scoring, 7-3. Um, some first-half stats. Venson leading the Tigers, uh, 13 carries, 68 yards. Catrone's four for seven, 62 yards, and sacked once. Ballard, three catches, 39. Lamp, one for 23. Uh, Merrill, seven uh, rushes for 24 yards, leads the Bengals. Schultz, seven for 12, for 55 yards. He's been sacked once. And Conkle, three uh, catches for 28 yards. All right, we're going to take a quick break now, uh, again, for one of our sponsors. Stark State College. Thank you, Savannah. I knew I didn't want to graduate with college debt or find out I didn't like my job after spending four years in school. Stark State College made it possible for me to pursue a career I'm passionate about at a price I could afford. And now I'm a certified occupational therapy assistant. When people find out I graduated debt free, a lot of them say, hey, I should have done that. You can. Stark State can help you go after a good paying, in demand career you'll love at a price you can afford. Thank you, Star State College. All right. Quick shout out, Mrs. Parr and the Tiger Nation fans. They're out at Hawking Hills watching our Tigers. We got them all over the state, all over the the country all over this world uh, that tune in. So shout out to you, Mrs. Parr, and your entourage. I'm sure you're having a good time at Hawking Hills. Rooting our Tigers on, hopefully, for a win here. Tigers up 7-3. Um, pretty pretty good job. I want to I want to call out, you know, our, our kids did a really good job of correcting penalties. We did have three penalties for 30 yards, but, you know, a couple of those penalties were just aggressive penalties. Uh, that last one on Austin Brawley, uh, Coach Hack would tell you a million times, tell them to play it like that every time, and it's just unfortunate the game's changed a little bit that they're throwing flags like that. I thought it was a clean hit, but uh, great job. Kudos to the, to the staff in correcting those. So, Alex Bauer is coming out to do the kickoff duties now. It's usually Magnus Haynes. And Bauer with a low line drive kick. And it takes a good hop for the Tigers and rolls into the end zone, avoiding 15 Conkle. So what's been the thorn in the Tigers' side has been the kicking game. And uh, it's good to see him come out and get a touchback. Good job by Bauer. I mean, it was a low line drive kick, but it's hard. Sometimes when those things hit the turf, they take some tough bounces. And in that time, it did take a bounce in the Tigers' favor. So the Bengals will come out. First and 10, 20 yard line. And again, we have Ronnie Schultz in the backfield. He hands it off. Nope, play action to Merrill. And that. Big hit there by number 11, Martavian Johnson. That pass goes to number 15, Conkle, the leading receiver on the Bengals. Nice pickup of five, six yards. First down, little play action pass there. Johnson does a nice job. You see his physicality. He's not real big, but I'm going to tell you what, he flies around and he'll come up and he'll hit you. And he's got a lot of Division I interest as well. So Conkle under center. He will hand it off this time to... Merrill, about a gain of two. So that's going to bring up third and two, third and one. See if the Tigers can tighten up a little bit. Ball's on the 29-yard line. It's a long one, closer to two. Schultz. 
Schultz under center. And he gets his, and just takes it up the middle with the sneak. They saw something there uh, on the inside, and he gets enough for the first down. Uh, good decision there by Schultz, good decision by the coaching staff, and that moves the chains and gives the Bengals a fresh set of downs. Again, Miller on that tackle. I mean, he's just been all over the field. Number 36. I'd be, uh, I'd be ready for another shot to, to Gales, to Conkle. You know, they like their receiver. Schultz, uh, two, three-year starter there, I believe. Play action. Looks across the middle to number 81. Great coverage there on that play by number three, Isaiah Clark. And that number 81 is Terrell Greer. And good job on the play action, not being fooled. Great discipline in the secondary there by Clark. Keeping his eyes on his inside receiver and not looking in the backfield. So that's gonna bring up second and 10. Ball's on the 31 yard line. Schultz is in the gun now. He's got Merrill in the backfield with him. Two receivers to his right and a slot, and one to his left, that is Gales. And he takes the snap, and there's, uh, I don't know, number two right there, Holland. He, he switched his feet up right before uh, the snap, so that's gonna be a, an illegal motion or a false start of some sort. And that's gonna back up the, uh, the Bengals five more yards for second and 15 from the 26 yard line. We've got 10 minutes and 22 Ball seconds. Start. Number two offense, still third down. And what they were trying to do there is take it to the weak side and just hit the weak side flat. So I'm, I'm sure Coach McConnell and Coach Lino saw that and um, just trying to slip their back out into the backfield. So second and 15. Schultz again in the gun. He takes a snap. He's gotten pressure again. And he throws it away. It's just a great job again. That's uh, Andrews and Miller and, and Billman. And just got guys all over the place getting after uh, Schultz. He doesn't have much time at all. So we talked a lot about that offensive line and their size for Benedictine. They're struggling with the athleticism of Maslin. And uh, especially Miller. So third and what looks to be about 15. And that's play action again. Gets pressure. And just nowhere to go. I mean, nowhere to go with the ball. And forces him to his left. Good pressure again there. That time by Willard, and, uh, Xavier, Andrews, Miller. I mean, just the, the front. The front four or five for the Tigers are, are dominating up front right now. And uh, Schultz doesn't have a lot of time back there. So great job by our defense after giving up a, a first down, responding, pushing them back another five yards. And I want to say this is number 33, Christian Cora's fifth or sixth time on to punt. Johnson and Ballard are deep. Good pressure. Great job by Andrews there pulling up. And Johnson's got space. He's electric, takes it down the left sideline. Great return. I'm gonna, give, I'm gonna give a lot of credit to number 33, Xavier Andrews right there. He had pressure. He maybe could have blocked that punt, but didn't feel um, as if he had the angle to do so, and he pulled up. A lot of times you see the lack of discipline, great discipline by Xavier Andrews. You see that electric return there. Um, by Martavian Johnson. Tigers are, are in good shape here, starting off on the 30-yard line, first and 10. And that handoff goes to Venson. Venson is up on the inside for about three. Again, just running that little wrap play. Backside guard, Kuth, wrapping around and for a gain of three. So nine minutes 44 here, second quarter. Tigers moving quick, and that's great job by Catrone. Number 75, 
Big Dion Womack, 6'2", 310. Once he gets going, it's hard for him to stop. So. Defense, five-yard penalty, second down. Tigers go from second and eight or, or seven to about second and two. A lot of options here. Patron brings out Johnson, Lamp, and Ballard to his right. With the single tight end and Geyer to his left. Patron takes a snap. Lots of time. Doesn't see anything. And he lets it go and he overthrows Ballard coming across. He had him. Just, uh, just a little too much on it. And I like what Zach, uh, Zach kept his eyes downfield. He probably could have tucked it and ran it for that first down. Um, just, uh, just Catrone just, uh, just overthrew it there and, and he did have Ballard in the corner of the end zone. Coaches wanted to take a shot there. Feel like uh, they got two downs. I would imagine um, two downs get two yards here. With the powerful Vincent in the backfield. Patron takes a snap. Inside handoff to Vincent. Nothing doing there. And this could be fourth down. Loss of one. Great job. You know, Raekwon had a, had a seam on the inside. He tried to bounce it. and uh, Great job by the Bengals defenders stopping him. So... Looks like I'm going to bring on the kicking team, Alex Bauer. We've seen him hit from about 40 yards already once this year in the St. Ed's game. He had three field goals in that game. Dominic Salvino will come on to snap. Catron will come on to kick. Snap back. Kick is up. And that kick is no good. Looks like it's a little wide to the right. And another just disappointing ending, you know. I mean, uh, you know, a big return by Martavian Johnson, and, and the Tigers uh, can't put together a first down and 40-yard field goal. 40-yard field goal goes wide right. So we're we're coming out here. Bengals are coming out here. We got eight minutes and 30 seconds to play. And the Tigers, nothing showing for that great return by Johnson. 7-3 still. Just letting Benedictine sort of hang around. Feels a little bit like the St. Ed's game. Um, unfortunately, uh, or hopefully, I mean, excuse me, it's not the same result. Dead ball. Ball start. Stop. False start on the offense for Benedictine. I'm sure Coach Good and his staff are not happy about the last couple drives that the Bengals have hurt themselves with false start penalties. So instead of first and 10, it's first and 15. Ball is on the 15 yard line. He puts Merrill in motion and Schultz hands off this time. Bounces it to the outside, nothing doing there. That's Jackson. Number 26 for the Bengals. Maybe a gain of two yards. Good job there by Jaden Wise coming up and making that play. That is outside linebacker position. Second and 13. Schultz. Three receivers to his left. And that's, we, Tigers very fortunate there. I don't know what coverage they were in, but uh, Wilson Lamp comes flying up. I don't know if Andrew was in a, in a you know, I know we run that coverage where we, we, we sort of roll that corner up and he takes anything short and the safety takes anything over the top. But on that play, we had nobody over the top. So very fortunate for the defense there that we didn't give up six because Gales was wide open. Okay, third and 13. Two receivers on both sides here. Schultz takes the snap. 
He's got pressure. It's a screen, two gales. Great tackle. Ugh. And it looks like he got a first down. I, I apologize. I was going to say great tackle by Isaiah Clark, and he just couldn't hold on to him. And as as we mentioned, you know, Gales is 205 pounds. He's a big receiver, physical, plays safety for the Bengals, and you saw his physicality there because Isaiah Clark's a physical player as well. First and 10, new set of downs. That toss goes out. Cuts it back, Jackson. No, I'm sorry. Check that. That is Andre Rogers Jr. And Rogers, not much doing there on that right side. You see the speed of our Tiger defense. It's really tough to run outside of them. Good call there, uh, I think, by you know Coach uh, Coach Good and his staff to see the pressure. Start to try to slow him down a little bit with that screen game. Second and nine. Schultz in the gun. He sets Merrill to his left. And a quick pass. And that strike goes out to number 15. And he's got about a gain of seven or eight yards. Good decision there by Schultz. Hitting Conkle. And they're up on the line quickly. And just, you know, that's defense not ready to go. First down. Schultz sneaking it up through the inside. First down, Bengals. You got big number 61 in there for the Tigers. That's Reese Turpin. 6'1", 315. First and 10, ball's on the 43-yard line. And Schultz sets Merrill to his left. And goes out to his left, that is Conkle again. Quick strike, great play there by Jaden Wise, number 22. Jaden's having a heck of a game, really active on his outside linebacker spot there. Five minutes, 45 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Let's go, and the Bengals just taking their time, methodically using up most of the play clock. Schultz under center this time. And we've got number 26, that is Dwayne Jackson in the backfield. Schultz, quick three-step drop. He's getting pressure again. And that time it should be an intentional grounding. There's no receivers in the area. Great pressure there by Caden Willard. Yeah, there it goes. The officials took their time, wanted to discuss it. But uh, Schultz just getting rid of it. And that's going to push the Bengals back. It's just a, he was looking for a, a three-step drop. Tigers did a good job bringing the safety down into the box this time, trying to take away the quick game. And Schultz didn't like it. And then, bam, he had pressure in his face by Willard. And, uh, Willard's, you know, all of six foot four coming at you, 235 pounds. And uh, Schultz really didn't have much of, of a choice there but to get rid of it like he did. So. That moves it to third and 24. The ball now sits on the 29 yard line. Browning, five-yard penalty from, from the spot of the foul, I believe. It is a loss of down as well. Not a lot of third and 25 plays, so the handoff goes to... And they just crease him up the middle, and that is a first down. 
No, it is not. He might be a half a yard shy. Just ran a, I don't know if that was a trap play or just a quick hitter. Unfortunate for that we weren't able to come up and make that play. And it is fourth down. I did not think that he got there. They're going to run the sneak. Tighten it up, tighten it up. And it looks like it's a first down again. Just got to be ready for that. It's the third time um, Schultz has done a good job of just running up there and sneaking it for a first down. So third and 25, and they just hit a little quick hitter there with, uh, with 22. Uh, Rogers, you see his speed. And nobody was able to corral him uh, until he picked up 21 and a half yards, and Schultz falls ahead for the first down. So new life for the Bengals. They cross midfield. And it looks like we're going to have a timeout, Bengals. 422, still Tigers 7, Bengals 3. Now, now I work for Sergeant's Clean Car Wash. Sergeant Clean's Car Wash in downtown Maslin is your one-stop car cleaning headquarters. Formerly Yance Car Wash, Sergeant Clean's is veteran-owned and is proud to now be part of the Maslin community. Sergeant Clean's offers unlimited monthly plans and free vacuums starting at under $20. Their friendly and hardworking team members are ready to make your car washing experience the best ever. Drive on in to Sergeant Clean's Car Wash on 1st Street in Maslin. There's just a, a quality that attracts me to the people of Northeast Ohio. It's whether it's hardworking or not apologizing for who they are and just I think more than anything, just so darn real. And I know for a fact that Progressive has that mentality. It's personal to them. During the Ram Power Days, save up to $12,500 off MSRP on a new Ram 1500 or get low lease payments. Progressive Jeep Ram, they're just good people. Thank you, Chry uh, thank you, Chrys uh, Progressive Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram and Sergeant Clean's Car Wash. All right, first and 10 for the Bengals here. Schultz sets Merrill to his left. Quick play action. And that's a, he tried to hit that, that wheel route there. And uh, Wise just played a great job, play, played it through the window. Uh, Jaden Wise again having a great game. Read that well. Second and 10. Okay, Schultz, quick pass to his left, a little low for Conkle. And that's going to bring up a third down and 10 for the Bengals. Some Stark County scores. Lake beating Glen Oak 35 0 in the fourth. Hoover 28 21 over Louisville right now, also in the fourth quarter. So big third down here for the Tigers. Last time giving up a third and 25. Yeah. Schultz back to pass, guys wide open, just way too much space by Lamp. And uh, this is about a 15 yard comeback to Gales. Plenty of room, plenty of space. That time Schultz got a little bit better protection and was able to hit that strike for about 15, 20 yards. So two plays in a row, uh, the Bengals pick up third down conversions, big third down conversions. So a quick handoff goes out to Merrill. He's wrapped up immediately there by, uh, that's Wise and Miller, I believe, on the inside. We've called their name quite often. That's just a killer on defense. You do a great job on first and second down. You expect to get off on third. Just, just a little too much cushion there in the Tigers secondary on third and 10. Second and eight. Let's go, D! Yeah. 
Schultz on the pass. And looks like that's a completion to, again, Gales. There's a penalty, and that's going to go against the Tigers. They like that matchup over there with Schultz and Lamp. Schultz just sort of bodying him on the slant pattern there. And, uh, Holding, defense, declined, first down. And they'll decline that because that pass was complete. So, first and goal it looks like. Ball's about the 10-yard line. And Schultz getting his play from the coaching staff. Sets Merrill to his right. Schultz rolls to his right, being chased down by Billman. Good coverage there by number 11, Martavian Johnson. That pass was intended by for Terrell Greer. That's going to bring up a second and goal from the 10 yard line. See if the Tiger defense can stiffen up here. Imagine that uh, they're going to go back to that matchup with Lamp and, and Gales. Two minutes 55 here to go in the third quarter. And timeout. 2.55, Tigers 7, Bengals 3. Damn. No word from Buffalo Wild Wings. You didn't know until right now, but you want to get wings at B-Dubs. And you want all 24 sauces and seasonings, like original buffalo or honey barbecue or Asian zing. Eat them here or enjoy them at home. Buffalo Wild Wings. Roar! You didn't know until right now, but you want to get wings at B-Dubs. And you want all 24 sauces and seasonings, like original buffalo or honey barbecue or Asian zing. Eat them here or enjoy them at home. Buffalo Wild Wings. Roar! Thank you, Buffalo Wild Wings and Massa. Okay, huge, huge possession right here. Second and 10. As I already mentioned, 255 to go here. Okay, two receivers to the right, to the left. Tigers bring some pressure. They pick it up. Nice time. Good break by Brawley. And Austin Brawley makes a, a nice play there on that crossing pattern by Gales. Tigers brought a little uh, pressure with, with Wise and, and Miller running a little stunt there on the left-hand side. That time the Bengals picked it up, but good coverage, better coverage in the backside. So third down again here. Third and 10, third and goal from the 10. Schultz has three receivers to his right. And again, Gales by himself in what looks to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup with Lamp. Quick pass. And that ball is picked off. This time it's by Isaiah Clark. And Isaiah Clark's got one man to beat. Number three, Isaiah Clark. Huge play there for the Tigers on defense. Sort of baited, and that's what good safeties do, baited Schultz. Uh, he likes that, he would like that quick, quick pass to Conkle. He's hit it a couple times today. And uh, just sat on that route. Did a great job, great break by the senior defensive back. And they're moving it back to the, they must, he must have stepped out at the 43 yard line. So this is where we got to take control. Tigers got great field position. Defense responds again. 11 quarters, going on 11 quarters without giving up a touchdown. Offense needs to respond. Catron, two receivers on each side. He brings Thurman in motion, takes a snap. Pressure to his right, steps up, he's got space. And that's a good run by Zach Catrone. 
Got to take care of that football. But he does pick up a gain of about seven, six or seven. Second and four on the 37 yard line. Catron getting pressure right now on his right hand side. At the two minute mark here, third quarter, he puts Raekwon Vincent in motion. Catrone's got a man one on one, that is Lamp. Lamp goes up, makes the tech catch. Great catch by number 21, Andrew Wilson Lamp. To track that down, you see his athleticism, his height, his leaping ability. And this time, it's Lamp taking advantage of the one-on-one -on -one matchup on the offensive side of the ball. So great decision by Catrone. First and goal, balls are now on the three-yard line. Handoff goes to Benson, and he walks in the end zone. And that's the way you respond, Maslin Tiger offense. Good push on that left-hand side, John Cooth. Tejamir Nash, Jaden Woods, Todrick Lee, Terrence Rankle, getting it, getting it done up front. That's what you got to do when you're on the goal line. Bauer on to kick the extra point. Salvino to snap. Catrone to hold. Snap back. Kick is up. Kick is good. With a minute and 41 seconds left, it's the Maslin Tigers 14. Cleveland Benedictine Bengals 3. Not a word from Mike Cap Pharmacy. Medicap Pharmacy on Lincoln Way West has been serving our area for over 20 years. They're your local pharmacy that cares about you and your time. I can get them filled from 5 to 10 minutes. If I go to a chain drug store, I may have to wait half hour to an hour. Enjoy their convenient drive through service along with free delivery in the Maslin area. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, owner and pharmacist at Medicap Pharmacy. Stop in sometime soon and you can experience our fast and friendly service. Thank you, Medicap Pharmacy. And thank you, Savannah. Exactly what we needed. Defense has been making plays all year. And now the offense responds. That's what we've been used to seeing over the last couple of seasons, our offense being so explosive. It's taken a little bit more time this year. Tiger fans, we've got to be patient. This is a very good Cleveland Benedict team football team. Uh, as I mentioned last week, wire to wire with Akron Hoban. We know how good Akron Hoban is this year. So, on to kick. Again, number 89, Alex Bauer. Bauer with a short but high kick, and that's going to go right out of bounds. He was trying to, to pooch that ball. And Benedictine's got a decision to make. They can take the ball on the 35-yard line, or they can decide to make him kick it back, or uh, move back five yards and kick it again. And it looks like they are going to take the ball on the 35-yard line. So we've got a minute 40 to go here in the third quarter. And Schultz and company will come out. And the Tigers aren't out there yet. And Schultz takes the snap. I mean, we didn't, uh, that's a timeout. So minute 38, timeout for the Tigers, 14-3. Now a message from family, fans, friends and family credit union. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hi, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. 
Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. Thank you, friends and family, Curtis Yannon. Okay, thank you to, again, all of our sponsors. Very important drive for the Bengals here. After that momentum switch, it looked like they were driving down, trying to, trying to punch it in, and the Tigers come up with a big interception by Isaiah Clark. And that handoff goes to Merrill. You know, besides that third down and long run, um, Tigers have really done a great job against the uh, the Bengals run game. Gain a two for Merrill. Hasn't been much for him all, all game. Um, second and eight. As the clock winds down with about a minute to go here in the third quarter. This time Schultz comes under center again. And that ball comes loose. That's picked up by the Tigers, and that's going to be seven. That is number 24, Nick Liebler, who scoops the scores for. Wait a minute. So confused. It was just a, a fumbled handoff. Tigers scoop and score it. They called that an incomplete pass. Wow. I've never, that was a botched handoff, and we scooped and scored it, and they called it, okay, got to move on. Third and eight, and play action pass, throwback pass. Nice play there by the Bengals. And throw back to number 26, Dwayne Jackson. I, that's just inexcusable. That was, uh, but uh, it was, it, it, it maybe, maybe something, maybe they saw something I didn't see, but it looked like a bad handoff and a scoop and score, seven points for the Tigers. Instead, we've got the Bengals picking up a first down on the 42 yard line of the Tigers with a nice little throwback play. Um, there to Jackson. Handoff goes to Jackson. Jackson will get up to about the 38-yard line for a gain of four or five. And it looks like the officials stop play for a second there as the clock runs down here. Three seconds left. Handoff again goes to Jackson. He's got a seam this time. Nice tackle there by Isaiah Clark. And that's going to wrap it up for the end of the first quarter. A quick change events. Um, excuse me, end of the third quarter. Tigers 14, Benedictine 3. And now a word from Downtown Maslin Association. There's so much special about Maslin. You can't walk down the street without smiling and saying hello to someone who knows you, who knows your family. In today's society, we're getting fewer and fewer opportunities for families to enjoy each other in an outside activity that is free. We have that. It's a strong community. People give back. Maslin continues to give back with the residents and businesses to those in need, and, and it's a great thing to be a part of. Thank you both Downtown Maslin Association and Tower Industries. Okay, folks, I, I don't know. Maybe you saw something. You can, uh, on the box cast, they, they do have give you the ability to replay that. I don't know if that was a pass. Did he shovel it forward of some sort? But we've got to forget about it, move on. Uh, Bengals 
are penetrating here to the 27 yard line. Start of the fourth quarter, 14-3 Tigers. And that pressure's coming from Andrew Winston Lamp from the corner position. And great job. Good call there by Coach McConnell, Coach Lino, defensive staff. Lamp getting a sack from his corner position. Boy, he was shot out of a cannon. Good job. And that puts Benedictine in second and what looks to be about 20 yards. Schultz looking to his staff, sets Merrill to his left. Schultz, quick pass across the middle. Great, great job. Good job of concentrating there by number 15, Conkle, as Schultz throws that thing into a tight window. Picks up nine, or no, I'm sorry, 11 yards. And brings up a third and nine. Good decision there, good throw by Schultz. Looks like uh, Tigers are, are showing man. It's gonna be a pass one-on-one -on -one there. And that time the ball is caught by Gales and it will be a touchdown for the Bengals. Again, liking that one-on-one -on -one matchup, sort of going back and forth. Uh, that time, uh, Gales getting the, the better of it, but good throw and catch by Schultz to Gales. And Gales does a nice job coming back to that football, taking it at its highest point, and touchdown for the Bengals. Snap down, kick is up by Sharan and good. So with 10.29 to go here in the fourth quarter, Tigers 14, Bengals 10. And now a word from Erie Street Pub. Big games on. You could watch a game like this. Or you could watch a game like this surrounded by fans just like you. At the Erie Street Pub, the game never ends. Open seven days a week. Erie Street Pub has pub style food at the right price with daily lunch specials. Wednesday is ladies night. And enjoy our large outside bar and patio. What's keeping you from the Erie Street Pub? Just up the road from Genshaft Fields. What are you waiting for? Come join us at Erie Street Pub. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. Thank you, Buell and Oliveri Insurance and Erie Street Pub. So, quick change of events. What could have been 21-3 Maslin, and it looked to be 21-3. Uh, Bengals do, do a great job of responding. I mean, that's really the first good drive that they've they've executed on and, and scored uh, with that uh, pass from Schultz to Gales. Kick goes down to Thurman. Thurman takes the ball to the right side. He's got some space and he's knocked out of bounds at about the 28 yard line. So Zach Catrona in the offense will start with 10 minutes and 22 seconds to go. Let's see what kind of response the offense can have after that uh, that score. And it looks like we got a block in the back. Return team. Number I know that's three. Ten yard penalty. First down. That's something that uh, the, the coach has really stressed this week. That was a killer. Masson probably had six, seven penalties, blocks in the back. So it's, a, it's just a killer in field position. You know, um, instead of having the ball on the 27, now you're on the 12 yard line. You're you're pushed back. You've got to see the numbers. Uh, if you can't see the numbers, you just got to be disciplined enough to stop blocking. Yeah. 
Tigers come out in a four receiver set. We've got Ballard and Thurman to the left. Johnson. Catron's looking to his right. That's Ballard. He's got Ballard. Ballard goes up. And it looks like too much, too many hands on Ballard. Almost went up and made, made a great catch there. Good coverage. Um, but it looks like pass interference on the Bengals. So that'll help out. That'll definitely help out the Tigers in their offense and get them out of that hole they were in. Sort of get them right back to where they should have started at about the 20, looks to be the 28 yard line. So it's first and 10, same personnel set. You've got Johnson and Ballard on the right. And handoff goes to Venson. And short gain on the left-hand side, about two yards for Raekwon. Good job there by Terrence Holland. On that tackle. Nine minutes, 50 seconds to go, second and eight. Catron takes snap. Quick toss goes to Ballard. And that quick slant is incomplete. Tiger fans want a, a holding. They're not going to get it. Third and eight. Big third down play here for Maslin. Two receivers to Catron's left, two to the right. Catron got lots of time. Surveys doesn't see anything. He tucks it and he's going to go down for a loss of one. Plenty of time there. Just didn't like what he saw. And that's going to cause the Tiger punt team to come out. And it'd be really nice to see number 42, Magnus Haynes. We know. Uh, the kind of leg that he has. But we got to get down and cover. We've had some, we've had our struggles with our punt coverage in the first half. So Caden Willard, snap is back and good. And a booming punt for Haynes. That goes down to about the 24 yard line. And this time, the Tigers do a good job getting to the football and corralling him down at about the 26. Booming punt that time for Magnus Haynes. That punt went about 45 yards. So a change of uh, momentum per se. You know, the Tigers big play by Clark. Go down, punch it in, 14-3, coming out. And uh, what looks to be a scoop and score and a 21-3 advantage. Now it's 14-10 and 8.46 to go. Plenty of time here in the fourth quarter for the Bengals, who showed a lot of, probably their most successful offensive drive that they've had all game. They like the matchup down here with Gales. And Lamp, let's see if they'll go back to it. This time he takes a snap. And that ball goes up top. And this time it's picked up by Martavian Johnson. Great coverage there. And he's explosive. Let's see what he can do with it. He cuts back to the right-hand side. Johnson's down the right sideline. Outstanding effort. Great coverage. You can't, technically, if you, you can't do it any better. As a corner, he's, he's on his, his upfield shoulder, running stride for stride. And uh, now we got a penalty flag. And I just I just hope that it's not on us. I don't know what's going on. A lot of John, it seems like, down there on the, the Maslin sidelines.
can't say enough for uh, the way Martavian played that uh, that pass. I mean, he's getting multiple looks. Uh, Kentucky, we've mentioned Harvard, shows you the kind of student that he is. Um, but he's got all the tools. He's, he's physical. He understands the game. He plays with good technique. Um, I've had the pleasure to watch him on film quite a, quite a bit. And I can see why a lot of, of colleges, Division I colleges, like him. You know, he could probably play receiver or corner at the next level, as well as return kicks. So as we're waiting here for an explanation from the officials, just had some John or, you know, some things that took place after, after that play. Let's see what we got. Dead ball. On sportsmanlike conduct, Maslin first down. Wow. Yeah, officiating has not been nice to us so far here in the second half. I seems like some calls, and I, you know, I don't know. I'm not down there. I can't really tell what's going on. They didn't give us a number. You know, what's the number? So, you know, I don't know who the number is. I'm sure Coach Moore wants to know who it is, but nonetheless. First and 10, Tigers got it on the 35-yard line. Again, defense setting them up with a big turnover. That handoff goes to Vincent. He's got a crease on the inside. <laughs> big block by, look like Caden Willard and Dylan Gerritsen. Tigers quick to get up to the line. Again, handoff goes to the left side. Vincent breaks a tackle. And Vincent, this time for about a gain of eight. Shoestring tackle there for the Bengals. Eight minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. Good job by Catrone taking that snap, which is a little high. And there's a flag, and I think this time it's gonna be on the Bengals. So what should have been a loss of about one, is gonna turn around uh, personal foul, this time on Gales. Some extracurriculars out there, completely away from the play. But then again, they have not made that call yet. Should be interesting. Calls have not went our way, it seems, in the second half. Personal foul, defense, first down. So that's gonna be half the distance to the goal. That's gonna move the ball down to the seven or eight yard line, first and goal. Tigers need to punch this one in. 7.44 to play. Clock's running. He's got Ballard and Lamp to the right with Willard in the slot. Handoff does go to Vincent again. Nothing doing there. Job on the inside by Merrill, number 11, as well as 76. And that's Thomas Jolly for a gain of maybe one or two for Vincent. Billman checks in with Geyer. He puts Billman in motion. Catrone again hands it off to Vincent, and he squirts in the end zone for a touchdown. Great job on the left-hand side. Offensive line, good good push by by them. Benson showing his power. He's heating up here in the second half. Big answer there by our defense with the 
turnover. And the Tiger offense with six or seven straight runs. And Vincent punches it in from four yards out. Bauer on for the kick. Kick is up. Kick is good. So with 6.54 to play here in the fourth quarter, Tigers 21, Benedictine Bengals 10. Yours pizza shop. <laughs> Serving the Maslin area since the 1960s, your pizza shop, located on Maslin's west side, has great tasting pizza and a whole lot more. Their large menu includes pizza, wings, pressure fried chicken, oven baked subs, and much more. Enjoy their hearty buffet Thursday through Sunday. Don't forget their convenient drive through window and delivery service. Be sure to visit any one of their numerous locations in Northeast Ohio. When you're ready for great pizza and more, stop into your pizza shop, located on Maslin's west side. Thank you, yours pizza shop. I'm a west sider, so I, I eat at your pizza shop quite often, order from them, pick up. <laughs> Got great chicken, JoJo's, good pizza. I agree. Okay, great response by our Tiger offense, 21-10. This next possession with only 6.54 is critical. Uh, you know, the Bengals are gonna be looking to strike quick. And again, besides that one drive, defense has just been stout here today for Maslin. So that Bowers kick goes down to about the five yard line into the corner. It's Picked up by Conkle. Conkle takes it, cuts it back. We overrun it. And big hit by Andrews. That's 33, Andrews. We got flags on the field. Our, our, our coverage team's got to do a better job, though, of understanding lane integrity. Because what looked to be should have been tackled at about inside the 20 yard line. You know, he, he makes a nice little cutback, Conkle does. We know he's a good athlete, but I, I just feel like, you know, when, when the coaches go back and watch that, they're gonna see, um, they've gotta understand how to block in the back. maintain Return that team. lane integrity. Might have been helped with the block in the back First though. Down. So, what should have been, could have been, excuse me, good field position for the Bengals turns around and it's going to push them back to what looks to be the 10 yard line so first and 10 Schultz this time quick throw goes out to that's number four lot. Great play. Oh, another flag. That was a great play by Jaden Wise. Great play by Martavian Johnson. It's really tough to get on the perimeter against this defense. Not really quite sure what the penalty is. Maybe a late hit of some sort. I don't know. Take that all day. That's an aggressive. Dead ball. Personal foul. Defense. Number 24. First time. You know, we'll go back and look at that film, but you know, guys are gonna run to the football. They're gonna play from whistle to whistle, and you know, that's what they're taught. We see this Tiger defensive speed. So that helps uh, the Bengals significantly. Brings them out to about the 24 yard line. They have first and 10. Schultz looks to his left, quick slant. This time goes to Gales. Again. Quite a nice little quick slant there to, to Gales. Pick up about 10, 10 12 yards. 
First and 10, ball on the 34-yard line. We've got six minutes and 10 seconds to go in the fourth. Schultz takes the snap. He pumps it. He's got a man wide open down the right-hand side. That is Lott. And I mentioned it, they, they had, to quick, uh, had to strike quick, which they did. And now they're already across the 50. So 557, working, uh, working really quick here. From the 10 yard line, now crossing the 50. And the Bengals have a, a no quit attitude. They're, they've been in a lot of tough games this year. Seen some great competition. Quick handoff, got a seam this time. That is number 11, Merrill. Hasn't had a ton of running room. That's probably the most we've seen. Just a, a quick, quick hitter on the left-hand side, and, and uh, Merrill does a nice job getting north and south. And the momentum sort of swinging Benedictine's way. That's hauling in motion. Handoff goes to Merrill again. Good game. And it looks like it's be holding. And I think Mike Miller was pleading his case. They have not really blocked him all night. So great job by the defensive end. Dead ball. Personal foul. Well, I apologize, Offense, a personal foul. Number 56. Second down. That is a dead ball foul, so that down does count. But as we've seen, there's been a, a, a few, few times they've been in some very long situations, been able to pick it up. So Tigers just got to keep everything in front of them, tackle well. time uh, the defense they walk Woolard out he comes back inside that toss sweep goes to 26 and again just a great job by Jaden Wise we called his name at least eight or nine times there it is tough to run on the perimeter against this defense those all, all those linebackers uh, Wise, Liebler, Portis Andrews with their safeties and their speed. I mean, they just have a lot of team speed. Third and looks to be 22 yards. Ball's on the 45-yard line. Schultz brings three receivers now to his left. Schultz has lots of time. Looks over the middle. That ball's picked off. This time again it is Martavian Johnson. And Johnson with the second pick of the day. Four minutes, 36 seconds left. He's hobbling a little bit. Hopefully he's okay. We know what he means to this team. Tigers elect to play coverage there. And it works out in their favor. And as we can see, number 11 is a ball hawk. He goes after that thing. So four minutes, 36 seconds. Game clearly not over yet. Uh, Tigers need to put a few first downs together here. First and 10, ball's now on the 40. Billman goes in motion. That handoff goes to Venson. Venson pushes forward for about two to three yards. Benedictine only has one timeout. Now Vincent's hobbled. I don't like to see that late in the game. He's had a heck of a game today. We'll bring you final stats here later on. Using that play, play clock. 
Handoff goes to Will Trell Hartson. He shows his power. Gain of about four, just running that, that power play, kicking out, wrapping the backside guard on the inside. Will Trell does a nice job of getting yards after contact. Three minutes and 30 seconds now in the fourth quarter. Third and about four. Tigers come out in a four receiver set. Only five in the box, they hand it off to Hartson. Hartson breaks the first tackle. And he loses the ball a little bit there, but a good powerful run by Will Trell, but now he's hobbled up. And nobody likes to see that for the young Tiger. No, we're from the Boys and Girls Club. The Boys and Girls Club of Maslin has been at the forefront of youth development, instilling a sense of competence, usefulness, belonging, and influence. The greatest contributions to the lives of our youth, our communities, our nation, and the world are the life lessons taught every moment of every hour of every club day. The youth of today become the leaders of tomorrow. Great futures start here. Thank you, the Maslin Boys and Girls Club. Well, it's good to see Will Trell come off on his own power. I'm not really sure. He's sort of holding his midsection. Hopefully he just got the wind knocked out of him. And he can bounce back. You see, uh, he's only a sophomore. He's got a lot of potential. Checking in um, now at running back is... Is uh, Thurman, Eric Thurman, I think. No. no. I'm sorry, that's Portis. That's Portis. Saw the three and the one. I read it backwards. This time the handoff goes to Portis. Portis hits that hole hard. And he picks up four or five yards. Nice run there by Jamacious. Second and six yards. 2.20 to go, fourth quarter. Maslin taking its time. And Portis in the backfield, he'll take that handoff. Just pushes up for about two, three yards. And we're at that two minute mark now and counting and the Bengals will take a timeout. I'm not sure why they took so long. So, minute 58, Tigers 21, Bengals 10. Now we're from Reliable Heating and Cooling. There was a time when 10 miles to the gallon was acceptable. Today's 40 plus mile per gallon cars weren't even in the rear view mirror back then. Of course, this Linux air conditioner wasn't on the radar either. It's solar ready, the quietest, most energy efficient air conditioner you can own. It's time to live in the now. Call Reliable Heating and Cooling for the most advanced technology in heating and air conditioning. When you're ready to live in the now, call Reliable Heating and Cooling. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling. So I think it's pretty safe to say we've got uh, a timeout by the Bengals, third and four for the Tigers. A couple of our running backs dinged up. Uh, you don't like to see that especially this late in the game. Uh, hopefully Raekwon and Will Trell are doing okay. Uh, we know we got, <laughs> we got Ignatius next week. We got McKinley the following week. We need all hands on deck. Uh, but what, this is looking to be a quality win against a quality opponent in Cleveland Benedict team. So third down and four. Portis also in the backfield again. He comes over, Catrone gets the call from the coaches, sets Portis to his right. 
nice big hole, left hand side. Portis, strong run. That'll do it, folks. I mean, just a, you see his uh, explosiveness there. Good job there on the left hand side of the offensive line. Portis showing his strength. And the Bengals cannot stop the clock. So I do not believe we might run the ball. Don't really know if we need to, we can most likely take a knee and call it a day. Hate to see someone else get dinged up, but that handoff does go to Portis. Portis sees the seam, makes a cut, and he gets down to the five yard line. Great job by Portis. And wow. Jamatius Port is coming in right now and running with, uh, with some fire. Trone takes the handoff. This time he's hit immediately. That's number 76, Thomas Jolly Jr. And we're at the one minute mark here. Clock is still ticking. So it looks like the Tigers will move on to three and one. The Bengals will move on to two and two on the season. That handoff goes to Portis, runs a man over. That's a touchdown. But I see a man down, and which is what I did not want to see. That's 65, John Coop. I hope he's okay. Jamacious Portis showing his explosiveness. That pushes it to 27 10 Tigers. Game well in hand with the Tigers just six, seven run plays with Jamacious Portis. 29 seconds left, 20, 20, Tigers 28, Benedictine 10. That roll from Cosmos Grill. If you're searching for great tasting food in a fun, cozy atmosphere, then be sure to visit Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. Enjoy lunch or dinner with family, friends, and coworkers. Cosmos Grill has a large upstairs room too, perfect for family gatherings, receptions, and class reunions. And then there's the food, your favorite appetizers, soups, salads, entrees, and desserts. Don't forget their wonderful wood fire pizza. It's amazing. Visit Cosmos Grill on First Street in downtown Maslin. Thank you, Cosmos Grill. Congratulations, Alex Bauer. That extra point just puts him in the lead um, with the new record of 172 extra points for Alex Bauer. Congratulations, Alex. He's been a three-year starter for us, consistent, uh, quiet leader. But he comes out and he performs. And he was just short on a 40, 41, 42 yard field goal, but his leg strength has improved. I mean, the kid is just, he's worked his butt off and there's, uh, he's well deserving of that, uh, that record. So congratulations, Alex. He'll come on to kick, short kick, goes right out of bounds. Kick will put the Bengals. It's actually going to go uh, where it went out of bounds at because it was past the 35 yard line. So 29 seconds to go. Bengals have no timeouts. Schultz comes back out on the field. And the Tigers substituting a few guys, it looks like. And 
Schultz. He's just going to hand that ball off to Merrill. And nice play there by, that's number six. And that's Ryan Zenkovich, along with number 34. Andrew Edwards from his defensive end position. And that's going to do it, folks. Maslin Tigers 28, Benedictine 10. Good win for the Tigers. They moved to three and one, as I mentioned. The Bengals moved to two and two. And uh, a little bit of extracurriculars. Hopefully we can get that managed. Bringing the first half stats here, folks. When Mr. Goff runs them over to me here. As I mentioned, the Tigers will play host to St. Ignatius next week. We'll be over, we'll be back on with WHS TV and Boxcast to stream that live to our Tiger Nation. Benedictine will take on Austin Town Fitch in their fifth game. And and just as a reminder, we're on a six-game season schedule. Everyone will make the playoffs. Uh, that will be a seeded uh, type placement. So Mr. Goff is over. Oh. He's going to bring me those stats here soon, so I'll have some of that information. And I know we just got some upset people from Benedictine. I'm not really sure what it was all about. But uh, clearly some of the coaches upset. All right, I got some final statistics for you here. As I mentioned, Tigers 28, Benedictine 10. Maslin had 266 yards of offense. Benedictine had 285. It's the three interceptions, though. Uh, three interceptions, two of them by Martavian Johnson. One of those, a huge one down on the goal line by Isaiah Park. It really was one of the major differences in this game. Um, you know, as I mentioned, a little better in the penalties, six for 70. Obviously, uh, much better than 15 penalties for 150 as they were last week. Um, leading uh, the Benedictine Bengals in rushing was Gary Merrill. He 13 carries, 45 yards, so not much room for him all game. Um, as a team, they only rushed the ball 31 times for 77 yards. Receiving Marvin Conkle, seven catches, 52 yards, and Christopher Gales, six catches, 101 yards, and a touchdown. And we mentioned their explosiveness. Ronnie Schultz was 19 for 37, 208 yards, and a touchdown, sacked twice, and uh, he was intercepted three times. Thomas Jolly, Jr., five, or five and a half tackles, led the team uh, in tackles. Uh, for the Tigers, Raekwon Vincent had himself a heck of a day. 23 carries, 111 yards, um, three touchdowns. Jamasius Portis comes in at the end of the game, six carries, 45 yards, and a touchdown. And Will Trell Hartson rounds it out, five carries, 18 yards, and a touchdown. Zach Catrone uh, didn't do it, didn't throw a lot today. Ten, ten pass attempts, five completions. Um, 
He was uh, effective when we needed him most. He hit a nice big long pass play down there to uh, Andrew Wilson Lamp uh, down by the goal line to get them going. But he had 96 yards passing. Jaden Ballard, three catches, 39 yards. And Andrew Wilson Lamp, two catches, 57 yards. Magnus Haynes, great job today punting the ball, four catches, 173 yards. Um, so, uh, but I, I think we want to we want to give the majority of the credit to our defense. Our defense was uh, electric. Jaden Wise led with 11 tackles, four for tackles for loss. Michael Miller, six tackles, two TFLs and a sack. Andrew Wilson Lamp a sack. Um, Isaiah Clark, as we mentioned, interception, and Martavian Johnson with his three interceptions. So great job again by our defense. Next week, the Tigers will take on the Cleveland St. Ignatius Wildcats as we renew that rivalry. Um, you know, it, the Tigers have struggled against them over the years, as we know, with only one victory over all those years. But um, there's been some great ones and should be exciting next week. So we thank you, uh, WHS TV. Uh, staff, we thank you for uh, bringing us this Tiger game to our Tiger Nation. Thank you, Savannah, for bringing us our sponsors. No problem. And uh, we will see you next week, folks. <laughs> um, one last word from Maslin Cable TV. At MCTV, we listen to your needs. That's why our internet options deliver the speed and reliability you don't just want, but you need. Upgrade your internet service to give your in-home Wi-Fi an extra boost. More data running through your home means you can power more devices, spend less time buffering, and more time connected to what matters most. Upgrade today. Give us a call or contact us online. MCTV. We go the extra smile. back and change it all. I would. I would. I think I'm gonna miss you the most. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Or maybe it's just the little moments. I could go back and change, I could go back and change it all. I could go back. I would. But I can't. When we adopt a shelter pet, we discover they're a unique mix of all kinds of things. Come on, Joel Spotlight on this last one. Uh, there it is. He's gone with it. Leo! <laughs> they're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. cosmetology because I've always loved coloring hair and different colors and makeup. I joined media because I've always had a passion for all things related to media. I've always had a passion for teaching other people, especially topics that I'm interested in. I want to pursue a career as an orthopedic surgeon. And so when I saw that we had this class, I immediately circled it on my schedule and was excited to join. I joined the construction trades to gain experience in the job I want in the future. Everything that this class has taught me will account for my career in the future. Before I came to this class, I was unemployed and Ms. Markley helped me get a job. I'm going to use what I learned in manufacturing in order to better decide my career. It gave me more knowledge on cars and gave me plans to go in the auto industry. Maslin CTE works for me. 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 Works for me. For me. For me. For me. Maslin CTE works for me. For me. For me.